What if they are both mirror identities? What happens then? Oh, you, because you, <laughs> you're, you're imagining in most scenarios, one black hole is like yeah. dominant. Yeah, one black hole is just like, you know, you're in my part of space now. <laughs> and I'm hungry. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, got, I got news for you. We're going to be one black hole, but it's going to be me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you one time imitate a black hole eating a... No, you had some voice. What was that? No, what did I do? It was something. Mm. Oh, oh, no, uh, because I was said black holes are just like, hey, hey, hey. Because <laughs> <laughs> that um, is exactly what they would sound like. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> if they spoke English <laughs> right. and if sound could move through space, that's what they'd be saying. Another black hole, a tasty snack. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, so yeah, but that's okay. my the my, point my is, concept the, is that one of them would be dominant always. But, but the math doesn't it doesn't doesn't, doesn't care. care. Okay. Math doesn't what is bigger, smaller, equal doesn't make a difference. Here's the thing: when they merge, you have a new black hole, right? That is exactly the mass of the two of them summed together. Oh, and that's yeah. all that counts. That's all that counts. And then right. you have a bigger black hole. There you go. You think we're new, but we're not new. 